Remember when they spent years panicking over the hole in the ozone layer, then suddenly stopped talking about it? The Antarctic ozone hole did grow through about 2000, and then it started to shrink. Why? Well, we discovered that there were these ozone-depleting substances, such as CFCs, and then we stopped emitting them. We got together in 1987 under the Montreal Protocol, and nearly every country signed it, and then it followed that nearly every country stopped emitting these types of pollutants. Pretty rad. And this will result over the next century less excess skin cancer. And we didn't just stop CFCs, we stopped all types of these pollutants. A policy success that will result in the complete recovery of the ozone in the Antarctic. We can do this, y'all. Source. This is exactly why I be wanting to check the home screen on certain people's phones to see if their Google app is next to their Twitter app. Matt Walsh could have checked this before hitting send, but we know why he would tweet something that's so easily debunkable. The word suddenly is carrying so much weight in this tweet, but this was posted when the UK provisionally recorded its highest ever temperature on Tuesday, 102.4 degrees Fahrenheit. It was the first time the UK recorded a temperature over 102 degrees per the Met Office, the official weather organization in Britain. Now, according to this article from Business Insider, the record came on the second day of extreme heat and followed the hottest ever night in Britain, a minimum temperature of 78.4 degrees. But keep this in mind, you can usually expect the average maximum daytime temperature in London to be around 74.8 degrees in July. Furthermore, London, for instance, isn't built for extreme heat. Housing and infrastructure don't maintain the capacity to stand up to this weather, so people can't either. With that said, there are raging wildfires and deaths across Europe. According to the Washington Post, Zamora, Spain registered a record of 107.2 degrees on Thursday, while two weather stations in Nimes, France, recorded 104 degrees, the highest record for the city in July. Carlos Third Institute says there were 510 heat-related deaths in Spain from July 10th to July 16th. And per Reuters, there were 659 heat-related deaths recorded in Portugal over the week of July 11th. So if the Matt Walshes of the world simply don't want us to panic, then I'm with them. That doesn't accomplish much, but using a false equivalence between clearing up CO2 and CFCs ain't it. Clickbait like this gets them the attention they want, and we can only hope for better from those who say stuff like, if we've had enough of the climate crisis, turn off your TV. Mainstream media is the problem. So while there are people who want to ignore climate change and want others to do so, do we ignore them? For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. This is it, right? This is uh, the climate change that we've been promised by scientists. Can we still call the United Kingdom a cold country? Absolutely not. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. If you want to see content from yours truly, click on the hashtag below. I can also be found on all socials at He Gonna Be Alright. Thanks for watching.